Okay guys, what's up so in the video today? So in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing the Mythic Upgrades mod for Minecraft. Now in a way, this mod right over here adds, I'm pretty sure, five new uh, ores and stuff that you can upgrade your armors and tool with. So I think three of them you can find in the overworld, two of them in the nether, and one of them in the end. So yeah, now in a way, um, there's also another mod I downloaded called Warden Tools, which I don't think I'm gonna showcase it here, but the same person made this mod too. So if you wanna go check them out, uh, you can download both of those mods, but I'm only gonna be showcasing the one in this video. Now, anyway, um, the first ore we have is, or the first mineral, whatever you call it, is Jade. Now, Jade right over here. Now, the cool thing about these is each one you can find in a structure which is the smithing upgrade template and the geode and the ore which you can find in a unique biome now for jade you can find those the smithing templates in the jungle temples and uh that is a 14.3 percent chance and then you can find the ores and the geodes uh in the mangrove swamps I'm pretty sure between Y16 and Y-32, so that's where you can find Jade, and you will have to go under the mangrove swamps if you want to find this one over here. So another cool thing I like about this mod is that each of the ore textures has a unique one. I think they did a good job on that one. Now, you might be noticing some of the tools are missing. Now, I'm pretty sure with the, I think this is intentional with the design of it, uh, that it only allows you to upgrade some tools, but if we go over here into survival mode, we don't need this or this anymore. So, oh. well, anyway, so wherever here, we have a new effect called poisonous thorns. Now, let me get out a mob so I can demonstrate what this does. Okay, so we're back now. Now, what poisonous thorns does is it will give these guys poison right over here and if we look at here these are pretty good actually with the stats but as you can see um oh it even makes a noise that's cool now anyway there we go so that's what poisonous thorns does it gives you a new effect and um yeah now anyway let's go put on our put these back where they belong and anyway if we look at this no, I don't. If we look at over here and then unsurprisingly with these oh my god I forgot how over here we have a jade sword and jade axe and then we also have the jade and the jade ingot right over here um, which is how you would craft into this stuff. So yeah, now the next one is, what is this called again? Oh, it's Topaz. Now, Topaz right over here. Some of the facts about this. So there's a 14.3% chance to find this in a desert temple. So uh, I think I hit my mic there, sorry. Uh, a 14.3% chance to find this in a desert temple. And that will make the desert temple more useful as currently it's kind of useless they did update it in 1.20 by adding a new room to it the treasure room or whatever but other than that it's hasn't gotten any updates so it's kind of nice to have a new ore or a well it's a smithing template but anyway and then you can find this y16 to y32 in the badlands biome so this is where you find it now anyway so if we look at the tools right over here so these are the topaz uh this is let's see what try to wear a full set of armor to get bonus effects if they are presented okay so let's test this out so right over here we've got fire resistance now okay so uh, i'm not sure if it's going to give you fire resistance every time but it looks like it does so I'm gonna presume that's what it does, but it might be like judging by how it says. Oh, set. Okay, so fire. Re Wait, does it say that with the? Oh, never mind. Okay, it does it. So this armor it gives you fire resistance. 
so this would be pretty useful um oh my god uh when you're swimming in lava and let's look over here so wait a minute why does okay so i'm gonna guess these don't burn in lava so that's what i'm guessing over here and then we have the same thing um now anyway so let's put this all back on now anyway the next one right over here is oh it doesn't actually have any armor so some of these don't actually have armor actually so uh it makes each one unique i would say so this is aquamarine now aquamarine uh you can find this in the igloos in minecraft that's where you get the smithing template and then wait a minute what's that item okay one sec i just noticed an item on the page or whatever that i didn't even notice so okay i'm not even know yeah okay i'm confused whatever it doesn't exactly matter but anyway so aquamarine now with this one let's look at all the stuff here so this freezes enemies on hit so i'm gonna grab some mobs to show you what it does okay so we're back now now um let's go oh i well, we didn't want to drop this okay uh, that might be hard oh yeah so this is quite useful so it's gonna freeze the enemies which will be very useful for when you're fighting so all of these are actually pretty useful and i can see where you might use some of these stuff um <coughs> now anyway and then these next two are in the nethers the first three were from the overworld these next two are from the nether now anyway second so now for all the odds there i forgot to mention the odds for this one it's all pretty much the same uh for the first three but i think it's a bit different for the nether ones and the end ones now anyway let's go to the next one uh this right over here is sapphire and sapphire let's put this on so we got a new effect it looks like damage deflection now i'm not even 100 percent sure what this does so we're gonna go grab this stuff and the cool thing about sapphire is you also have this cool little particles around them so let's go and see what it does oh okay so it's basically like thorns but um oh oh okay so this one's a bit useful so let's quickly look at this uh, so deals percentage based damage depending on enemy's health so um right over here i think these are around 20 hearts so i don't know what the damage for this one would be but compared to for example the ender dragon it's going to be a bit different or the iron golem or the wither or any more powerful or maybe even weaker mobs it's going to deal a different amount of damage so that's kind of cool it doesn't have a fixed set amount of damage instead it will change depending on which one you're fighting no way uh so sapphire uh there's a 12.5 percent chance to find the upgrade in the nether fortress um and then you can find the ores and geodes uh between y level 96 and zero in the nether in the soul sand valley okay now anyway uh sorry about that um so uh let's do so that's clear now Let's go to the next one. Now this is Ruby right over here. So Ruby doesn't have any armor, but it does have some tools. So why do I keep on doing that? Okay, Ruby, Ruby. Oh, so yeah, the cool thing about this is it gives you haste. So let me show you over here. So, okay, um, that's a bit embarrassing. So let's put uh, enchant uh, efficiency five. Oh yeah, so you can see right over here, it's not insta mining the uh, copper, but you can see, not, okay, so it doesn't insta mine every block, but it can insta mine stone, I don't think it can do deep slate, I'm guessing, because deep slate's a bit harder, um, so yeah, it also has a lot of durability too, so, um, 
all of these I forgot to mention by the way. Oh, this is so satisfying. All of these I forgot to mention by the way, but all these you have to use netherite to upgrade them if you're wondering. Oh. Uh. Okay, we died. Now, anyway, so we're gonna have to travel all the way back to where we were, but anyway, we made a giant mess over there. Anyway, so that's kind of nice. Ruby. Ruby is kind of nice. Oh, yeah, I like the sound of. Yeah. Anyway, so the final one you find in the. Oh, forgot to mention. And then you have a 25% chance and a 12.5% chance of finding Ruby upgrade templates in the Bastions. Oh, and more and they're more common in the treasure bastion type specifically and then you find uh those in the crimson forest between y level 96 and zero so just letting you know anyway um the final one is amatrine so not amethyst but amatrine over here um and you can find this one in the end so let's get out the armor so this one let's put it on so this one gives speed two and jump two so oh yeah i remember something cool about this so let's get out oh my god now there we go now anyways so levitating enemy on hit so we're gonna get out our husk friends that we keep on bullying right over here Okay, oh, you gotta be kidding me, buddy. Now, I'm not sure how long those actually last. And then, boom, we got all of them, and then let's do one final one. Oh, that was so cool. Now, anyway, so that is pretty much all of the different ores and stuff like the new materials oh yeah so new metals yeah i think yeah okay now anyway uh there is also new music discs so i'm not gonna be playing them in this video but um if you want to when you download the mod you can uh listen to those over here and you have the broken music discs right over here so you have to repair these with uh the corresponding material so yeah now anyway oh and i forgot to mention you find it has a 10 percent chance in end cities and then i guess i think in the outer end islands a six y level 60 to zero so that's how you find amatrine no and then one more thing broken jade topaz and aquamarine are 20 percent and broken sapphire ruby and amatrine are 25 percent anyways so um yeah now i just wanted to show you this cool mod i thought it was kind of cool so yeah now anyway i'll be leaving a link down below to this mod and then uh you can probably find the other mod that i didn't showcase in this video but anyway um so yeah now anyway that'll be it for the video today hope you enjoyed and uh goodbye